Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm CEO Fitness. And I know that this is a crazy time to be starting a diet series with everything that's going on at this time. Hey, the show must go on. The title of this series is How Bad Do You Want It? So it's kind of fitting for what's going on right now. You know, what are you gonna do? Um, are you gonna just be like, hey, you know, everything is crazy. Maybe I need to not focus on my diet. Maybe I just need to relax and, you know, wait until this is over. Or are you gonna stay strong and do what you need to do to hit your goals? We're gonna go ahead and uh, go on with the series. Um, this time, four years ago, I started this series, the How Bad Do You Want It series. At, at a time uh, in my life where I had just had my first son, you, when you're young and you know you you think you're becoming a man, and you know like there's a lot of things that you think that makes you a man, but to me, having my son, it really, it it really opened my eyes of you know, uh, what's more important and, you know, wanting to prioritize, uh, needing to prioritize things, you put things in order in my life. So, um, and at that time, you know, I had my son and my health, um, starting to become more important to me. And, I wanted to lose, I lost a lot of weight at that time, but I wanted to lose more. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to, you know, do more and be more. And so that's originally why I started the How Bad Do You Want It series. And every year is, is different. Um, and this year uh, is very different. I want to talk more. I don't want to ramble on, but... Um, I'll tell you more later on as this series uh, progress. So uh, without further ado, this is the first episode of the How Bad Do You Want It series. Um, here we go. Just left Walmart. This is all I could find. Got me some water, gallon water. They disconnected the water uh, coolers at my job. Some fiber one cereal for breakfast. Salmon and some salad at Reese's. About to see if they got any more food left. Over here. Okay, so second run. We got some. Tilapia, some brown rice, some sharp cheddar cheese, and some almond milk for the cereal. I will show you guys what I'm gonna be eating tomorrow, so stay tuned. All right, y'all. First meal of the day is about to go down. I'm at work right now. Turn that light off, it don't look too good. So, first meal, I got me some cereal. This is the um, Fiber One cereal. I'm supposed to have this with a protein shake. Uh, the protein I had, it, uh, it upsets my stomach, so I'm just gonna uh, Eat it with some almond milk until I until I give me some more protein shake that doesn't upset my stomach. So I'm about to eat this, and I'll see you guys at the next meal. All right, so second meal of the day: six ounces of salmon. And then I have one and a half cups of brown rice. Finally, meat. Yes. All right, got some uh, brown rice. I have a cup of brown rice and some ground turkey right here. This is 93.7. All 
All right, so got 10 egg whites right here. I don't know how many ounces this is, but I need two ounces of cheddar cheese. It's supposed to be three, it's supposed to be 12 egg whites and three ounces, but I'm gonna go a little light today since I didn't go to the gym this morning. We're at 1.5. It's gonna be dang near a whole bag of cheese. All right, 2.1. Take a little bit off. 2.0 right there. All right, so today is March the 20th and I went to the store to get some more brown rice. I got some of this rice right here. It says popcorn rice. It might be similar to the rice I got, the instant rice I got yesterday from Walmart. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna try this and see how it is. Hopefully it's good. You know, this is the only brown rice that they had. And the other rice they had, I had it before, but it just wasn't good, so. I'm gonna try this. And I don't know why I feel like I should rinse this rice off. So I'm gonna rinse this off, I'm gonna measure it, rinse it off, put it in the rice cooker. Chicken is done. Got to go in the garage, wait for this brown rice. I know it's nowhere near done. So I'm going to the garage and hit a quick workout. All right, so welcome to my home gym in my garage. Excuse everything that's in here. This is a garage, you know. Most of y'all garages probably look the same. and There's way more stuff in here. It's just randomness, but I did a good job cleaning it out. Well, just this area right here, it's my little man spot, man cave or whatever, but I'm also in my work clothes. But uh, I'm gonna do a little warm up set right here. Ooh. Incline. It's good, it's good to have a personal trainer, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we, we go in the gym and we just tack the weights and we don't think about, you know, stuff like this, you know, warming up, warming up the joints and, you know, the, you know, stretching the muscles. So. You know, my, my, this one thing that my, my trainer is big on is warming up. He always makes sure that I warm up. So, this is something I've been keeping like in the back of my mind every time I, before I touch the weights, I'm like, I have to warm up. You know, it's, it's very essential, very important. Uh, so we want to keep working out, right? Uh, here we go, just a little warm up, 15 on each side, 45 on the bar, here we go. Hey. So that was 20 reps, not nothing too major. Just warm up says not working set. So we're just gonna keep going with this. <sighs> All right, so just got done training some chest in the garage. 
got some uh, chicken tenderloins. We got four of them. And about a three-fourths cup of brown rice with a little uh, coconut aminos on it. Coconut aminos, that's what they are. So, um, I'm about to eat this meal. And I'll see you guys soon.